Whether it's more intense storms or rising seas, the impacts of climate change can no longer be ignored in Florida. Even in Jacksonville, the last major city in the state to hire a chief resilience officer, leads are, or leaders are no longer asking whether, but when. The work of preparing for the future began with a comprehensive report on the city's vulnerabilities, and it includes some dramatic findings. We're anticipating a major increase in the number of extreme high tide uh, days that we experience. Right now it's roughly four every year um, and we have projections that look at sea level rise that are saying it could get up to 40 to 60 days a year where we see extreme high tide. So it's a substantial, a substantial threat, but I think what we're trying to do is avoid looking at just one hazard and starting to see how they interact and how they're layered. So tonight at 11, On Your Side's Ann Schindler dives into what we know now about rising sea levels and why some of the most impacted communities on our first coast are those nowhere near the ocean.